It's election season starting for some of our states and southern state of Karnataka is where political temperature clearly is rising. What exactly happened? Kolar is now become the epicenter of the war of words. And that's one of the reasons is that Siddharamaya had decided and had given our suggestion that he's likely to contest from Kolar. Now, the BJP is accusing the Siddharamaya of choosing that specific seat. But importantly, there are a lot of war of words back and forth about uh, BJP calling Congress that it backs terror. Well, the Congress is saying there was something more suspicious to the killings that had taken place in the coastal blend. Why just the members or the workers? Why not the MP or the MLAs that faced the target? Take a look. Political fireworks in state of war Karnataka. Tempers are soaring in the state with Kolar being the epicenter. Ever since Siddharamaya has announced he'll contest from Kolar in 2023 polls, BJP's barbs are flying thick and fast. In a gamble that could pay off handsomely or go burst spectacularly, former Karnataka chief minister and Congress strongman Siddharamaya asserted he'll win from Kolar even if Prime Minister Narendra Modi or Amit Shah campaign against him. Sara, Burley, Nadara, Burley, Narendra Modi, or a rubberly yar, a rubber, a misha, a rubberly yar, one rukuda, Nano, a league, they get it. Don't put up the lee, a la idly, badaminally. Former Chief Minister B.S. Yedurapa spared no time and attacked Siddharamaya, saying he will go back to his home district, Mysore, as the BJP contender will give him a run of his money. Tearing into Siddharamaya for picking Kolar, deemed to be a safe seat for him, BJP National General Secretary C.T. Ravi said, Pakistan is safe for former Chief Minister to contest polls. safe andre Pakistan. ಅವರಿಗೆ <laughs> 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 Siddharamaya appears to have decided to lean on his Ahinda support base in an untested constituency to get elected to the assembly in the ensuing polls. But will it work in his favour or will it advantage BJP? With Anagha in Bengaluru, Pure Report, India Today. Remember that the state of Karnataka is very crucial both for the Bharatiya Janata Party Congress and the JDS also because so Congress will want to come to power. That is one state it can try to regain its government but it will be the BJP that will want to retain the government in the state of Karnataka and that's why you see that because a lot as at stake for both the parties that the, there are these heated war of words that are on. Siddharamaya will come back to my Suru but uh, as is being said but Siddharamaya says that look at how the BJP also, also changed the political discourse in the state of Karnataka. So the Congress party is constantly attacking the Bumai government, alleging that they have spread hate across the state and also across the country. This now with the Bharatiya Janata party is also now reacting. So while the Congress's DK Shiv Kumar has led that campaign, saying BJP is responsible for spreading communal forces, but it was also alleging that several BJP workers have been killed. No MP or MLA from the party has ever shown up to protest against the killings. The BJP then hit back at DK Shiv Kumar, calling them terror backers, raking up alleged links between the grand old party and the recent Mangaluru pressure cooker blast. <laughs> Orang ini dari sini 
ಜನರಿಂದ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ರಾಜ್ಯದಿಂದ ಸಾವಿರಾರು ಜನ ಬಂದು ವಿದ್ಯಾಭ್ಯಾಸಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಬರ್ತಿದ್ರಂತೆ ಈ ಕೋಮು ಗಲಭೆ ಏನು ವಿಷ ಬಿತ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇದನ್ನ ನೋಡಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕಳಿಸಿದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಸುರಕ್ಷತೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಇವತ್ತು ಅಡ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಕೂಡ ಜನ ಇವತ್ತು ಬರ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ವಿಚಾರವನ್ನು ತಿಳಿಸಿದ್ರು ಈಗ ತಾನೆ ಹರಿಪ್ರಸಾದ್ ಅವರು ಮಾತಾಡಿದ್ರು ಅನೇಕ ಕೊಲೆಗಳ ವಿಚಾರ ಬಿಜೆಪಿ ಕಾರ್ಯಕರ್ತರು ಕೊಲೆ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಬಾಬಾ ಅಮಾಯಕರು ಅಲ್ಪಸಂಖ್ಯಾತರು ಕೊಲೆ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಬಿಜೆಪಿ ಕಾರ್ಯಕರ್ತರು ಪಾಪ ಆ ಪಕ್ಷಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ತ್ರಿಶೂಲ ಅದು ಕಟ್ಟಿ ದೊಡ್ಡೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹಿಡಿದು ಹೋರಾಟ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಒಬ್ಬ ನಾಯಕ ಅಂತ ಒಬ್ಬ ಎಂಎಲ್ಎ ಮಗನೋ ಒಬ್ಬ ಮಂತ್ರಿ ಮಗನೋ ಯಾಕೆ ಆ ಪಕ್ಷದ ಸಂಘಟನೆಗೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಅವ್ರು ಮುಂದಕ್ಕೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬರೀ ಬಡವ್ರ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಮಾತ್ರ ನೀವು ಬಲಿ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀರಾ ಬರೀ ಬಡವ್ರ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನ ನೀವು ಬಲಿ ಕೊಡುವಂತ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನ ನೀವು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀರಿ All eyes, remember, will be on the southern state to see can the BJP enter into the southern terrain and importantly, can the Congress manage to get another state for itself in the country. Anaga Kesha will be now joining me in this morning live telecast. Anaga, you're in that state because all eyes will be on which party manages to get to the government. What sort of reactions are coming in? Do tell us about the Congress strategy and interestingly, the BJP trying to attack the opposition because Kolar has become their epicenter. Ojha, remember it is important to be noted that in the last elections when Sidharamaya contested from two constituencies, Badami and Chamundeshwari, Chamundeshwari was a stronghold. Chamundeshwari belongs to the old Mysore region which is considered as Sidharamaya's strong bastion. He very badly got injured and lost in the last elections but as a backup he had Badami where he very narrowly won as in a very narrow vote he won against Sri Ramulu. So this time it is said that Sidharamaya has chosen a safe bet Kolare region which has you know which has a maximum population of Dalit vote or community votes, a minority votes, basically Dahinda votes, including the Puruba community. This is why Yadurapa has hit back, you know, he has attacked Sidharamaya saying that this is just high drama from Sidharamaya. At the end of the day, he is just going to go back to old Mysore vote, the Chamundeshwari constituency. He is not going to, con- he is, he is, you know, not going to contest. Indirectly hinting that the high command is not going to accept. Even when Sidharamaya went all out in announcing his desire to contest from Kolaru constituency, he caveated by saying that it is left to the high command so if the high command rejects sidharamaya's appeal as per yedurappa it's going to be a massive embarrassment for sidharamaya because he went big in saying that he is going to be contesting from kola now coming to what you know what bk shukumar actually meant when he said that the students are not coming to karavali region that is the coastal region is because let's remember the recent spate of communal killings one we had the mangaluru pressure cooker blast Two, very recently, just a month back, we had a Muslim worker being killed by two bikers purely because of communal tensions. Now, and, uh, and shortly after that, Section 144 was also imposed. So this was the context behind D.K. Shokumar saying that students are no more willing to come to Karnataka's coastal region to study because of the communal hatred and communal killings. All right, Anaga, keep your eye out about what exactly is unfolding in the state of Karnataka. So communal jibes, corruption jibes and ensuring personal attacks also by both the parties. Anaga from the state of Karnataka.